This is 219 News Now, brought to you by Strachan Van Til, making lives easier for 94 years. I'm Andrew Garcia, and this is your 219 News Now. The WJOB and Jed TV family lost a dear member this past weekend. Pedro Flores, who appeared on multiple programs of ours and served as both a camera operator and producer, passed away unexpectedly. The halftime huddle crew took a moment on Monday's show to remember Flores. Pedro was just a burst of energy in every room he went into, had a great personality. You guys heard him on the Region Rush Hour. He also went on Jed, T, on Jed in the Region as well, helped out with so many sports, and this is what he wanted to do with his life. It, it's rare when you find people that have the same dream of you in life. The last remaining TGI Fridays in Northwest Indiana officially closed its doors when the Sherva location abruptly closed on Friday. Thanks for visiting our restaurant. We truly appreciate our loyal guests and it has been our pleasure serving you, a sign on the door says. Unfortunately, we have made the hard decision to close this TGI Fridays restaurant. As this entire restaurant category has fallen out of favor after the rise of fast casual eateries, the chain has closed multiple locations in the area. Excessive heat caused issues in schools around the area as well as cancellations and postponements of various athletic competitions on Monday. Among those were Banneker at Marquette Elementary School, where they experienced issues with the building's air conditioning according to the Gary School's website. Additionally, all middle school athletics have been canceled for the next two days, with Tuesday's middle school football game in Griffith also being scratched due to the heat. High school teams have been instructed to practice indoors with no exceptions. And in sports, Griffith hosts Bowman Academy in volleyball. Here's a look at that game. Excessive heat outside didn't keep Griffith off the volleyball courts inside. The Panthers play host to Bowman Academy in non-conference action, and the home team starts hot. Leading early, Robin Edwards serves up the ace. Bowman has no play on it. Panthers in control. Later, Angie Navarro joins in on the ace action. The senior rips one towards the back line that stays in. Griffith leads by 15, and they would go on to win the first set. And the second is more of the same for the home team. Michaela Rossi records an ace of her own. Everything is going the Panthers' way in this one. Griffith goes home happy with a sweep. To read up on more local news and headlines, visit JedTV.com and NWI.com. I'm Andrew Garcia, and this has been your 219 News Now.